Do amplifiers push or pull power? That's an interesting question. It comes to us from Eric in Austin, Texas. And Eric writes, Hi, Paul. Sometime back, I believe that you had briefly mentioned that amps don't push power. Oh, boy. So, yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> Speakers pull it. Yep. Uh, it's flipped my understanding of the audio world upside down, and I started questioning everything I thought I knew. Uh-oh. <laughs> what then actually damages a small speaker hooked up to a large amp, assuming it's fed the correct frequency range for that speaker? Could you elaborate a bit more on whether amps push or pull power? Yeah, I can see where that, that got a little confusing, and I apologize for that. What I was trying to get across is that an amplifier sitting all by itself has the potential to deliver a lot of power. It doesn't, ah, itchy nose, sorry, it doesn't deliver any power until it's asked to deliver power. So when we hook a speaker up to it, the speaker has an impedance. In this case, this is a 4-ohm loudspeaker. And so this speaker um, will consume X amount of power in order to move its drivers. If the speaker isn't hooked up, there's no power that will ever come out of the amplifier. So in that case, we could sort of say that the speaker is pulling it out Maybe a better way to put that is that it is um, requesting power. Is that a good way to put it? Maybe not. Maybe that's not the best way to, to come across like this. When we, if we use an old light bulb analogy, we know that coming out of the wall socket, we have 110 volts available to us, right? The potential is there, but that plug in your wall is just kind of sitting there. It isn't until we put a light bulb into that that we draw power, pull it out of the wall, if you will, into the light bulb. But the viewpoint could be confusing because if we look at it from a plug standpoint, the plug is pushing that power onto the light and the light is consuming it. And I'm not sure all of that is really, it, it's maybe more semantics than anything else. The speaker can only, because of its impedance, if you had a, if you had a 16 ohm or a 32 ohm speaker, let's say, a 32 ohm speaker cannot take too many watts out of an amplifier designed to deliver, say, into a 4 ohm load. So if you have, so an amplifier will put out X amount of voltage, right? Let's say it'll put out 50 volts. Well, 50 volts into 32 ohms is only going to provide so many watts, and it won't be many. So if, if 50, I, I don't, I'd have to calculate it out, but if 50 volts, well, let's see, I think if I, see if I remember, 40 volts, out of an amplifier into a 4 ohm load is 400 watts. If I remember correctly, let's, we're just going to use it as an example because I'm old and I may not remember correctly, but, but let's say it is. And then into 8 ohms, higher, higher impedance, that same voltage is only going to deliver 200 watts. And into 16 ohms, it's going to deliver half of that. 100 watts, and into 32 ohms, it's only going to deliver 50 watts. Do you kind of see the relationship? The current, the, well, the voltage coming out of the amplifier going into a specific impedance is going to draw from that amplifier as much power uh, as, as, it, as it can. And the higher the impedance for a given voltage, the fewer watts can be delivered, and the opposite is also true. Now, part of your thing was, why then should an or a speaker be damaged? Well, if, if an amplifier 
can only put out so many watts, and if you hook it up to a speaker that can only accept so many watts, you could run the risk of damaging the speaker because let's say that that speaker's driver can only handle 20 watts, I don't know, whatever it is. And, and you're going to, if you put that many in, you might damage the driver. Most speakers can handle about as many watts as you're reasonably going to put into it for a given thing. And, and you'll, you'll know way, way <laughs> into it whether you're going to cause any damage. It'll probably sound like crap or drive you out of the room. We typically see damage on tweeters more from underpowered amplifiers who clip, because when you clip, this tweeter could be damaged. So I don't know if I've made this more confusing or, or I've helped you understand it at all, but I did my best. So anyway, um, hopefully that sheds a little bit more light. It's a good question and I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. I'll try and figure out a way to say this more clearly because it's, 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 it can be complicated. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.